Hi, this is Chris from GrowQuest, and it is a little bit breezy right now. But if I don't get this done, I'll probably forget before the plant's all healed over or someone's cleaned it up. And last summer I was accused by a customer of bringing them a diseased tree. And that's just not going to cut it. I have, don't think I've ever brought anybody a diseased tree, certainly knowingly. And I was accused of knowingly bringing a diseased tree, or at least knowing it was going to develop a disease and not replace later on by myself. Mind you, I'd already replaced the tree once before, before I realized what was going on. And the issue was a 24 inch boxed Haas avocado tree. A very beautiful tree, much like this one was. This tree, before I decided to experiment with it, had about 25 avocados on it and was big enough to fill the bed of my truck. I mean, it was a monster. Now you can look at the trunk down here in relation to my hand. It's going to go into a 48 inch box at this point because it'll take about another year for it to bounce back. But the main topic here is not letting it get ugly. The main topic here is what is the white powder that many people sometimes find on their trees? Otherwise called, and I'll butcher the term, exudent. Or we'll just keep it simple, pitch. Oh, it's not pitch. I, you know what? Avocado sap, avocado blood, whatever you want. Here, this is what it is right here. It forms on the top of wherever there's been a wound or a branch that's broken off on the tree. There you go, there's a little cap of it here. And you can see it crumbled up in my hand. Uh, looks like stuff I used to snort when I was a lot younger. Uh, anyways, or what Obama's smoking these days. So, that's avocado exudent, as I believe it was properly phrased at the UC website. It is the material that is pushed out at the openings of an avocado that's been stressed out. Now mind you, I let this thing dry out to near death and caught heck for it because someone wanted to see this thing turned into immediate cash and it was a $550 tree before you let it go and you can see what happened up here now the way this happens according to the people I've spoken to is the trees become very dry and then start pumping the water and the nutrients into them and they just push out this pitch the same as any other tree that has a wound on it will often do. And it's not just there. There's many places on this tree. Down here on the trunk, a much older branch started to do the same thing. Got a really good pile of exit right up in here. Now the controversy I found myself ensued in with a very judgmental person was that this is a result of a disease. Recently there is a beetle that is essentially a shot hole borer beetle, much that is found on plum and cherry trees and I'll do a demo on shot hole borer. I've had many many years experience with shot hole borer as a pest but shot hole borers will get into weakened avocados and olive trees and some other ornamentals and make many holes into the trunk or the wood of the tree and just the same way that this process also got going the exit will begin coming out from the holes the shot hole bore but as I made a video of the the tree in question last late summer early fall there were no shot hole borers on the tree and there's no shot hole borer on this tree this is a case of just as it was explained to me when you stress your trees through watering 
dryness, then rewatering heavy, then letting it dry, they start stressing and, and, and surging in growth, and you get this exodus. So that's what's going on. Your tree is not developed avocado root rot. I've always wondered about this because I've seen this exit in a large cuts, I mean six, eight inch cuts on big grove trees and I was wondering, wow, what the heck is that? So as a result of this very judgmental person attacking me on this issue, I did some homework and found out what, what it is. In this case, it's just symptomatic of bad care. But if you do have lots of little holes going into the wood, that's an entirely different thing. I'm gonna make a link to the UC website on that pet particular new pest problem. That's on avocados and olives. All right, thank you.